Hi everyone, this is Patty Barr. I'm the director of iCater here at the University of Iowa College of Education. And today I want to continue our app series of webinars and uh, show you some, some apps from iDev Books for Math. So the, the company is iDev Books and they have things, that this is their website, um, they have things for geography and um, and, and other things, but I want to look at the, the math apps today. They have 26 different math apps available from fractions and some visual things about fra fractions, order of operation, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, multiplication table, rounding, and on, on up to polynomial algebra. So I uh, just chose to do a few of these today, and we are going to do some column addition, partial sums, column subtraction, and rounding. I hope I can get through that in about 15 minutes, because these are fairly simple apps. The ones I've got are right here, and they're in my, my app folder math app folder and we're going to look at addition, partial sums, column, subtraction, uh, rounding, and I don't think we're going to have time to do decimals, but another time we might do some of the multiplication and division functions. So let's start out with column addition. Let's see if we can get this a little bit bigger for you. Sure. So this is, again, it's, it's pretty simple, um, and that was one of the things I really liked about it. Um, this is just column addition. It gives you some information as to where to start. So three plus six, it gives you three plus six down here. It also gives you this in a row as well as a column, so it gives you a couple different ways of looking at it. So you're supposed to start with three plus six, which is nine. And then it tells you the next thing that you're supposed to do is add 2 plus 7, which is also 9. And then it gives you a building block. So at the end of this, we're going to be able to see our puzzle. So that's our, our um, it, it's not a, a big flashy um, help or a big flashy um, perk but um, gives you a little something. Some of the settings that you can do are, you can do two or three numbers. So we can just go to three numbers. And then you can have one, two, on up to five digits. So we'll go to a four digit, just to show you that it can be four digits. And then there's, a, there's different themes that you can have. Um, you, so this might be nice for people with, um, vision impairment. Some people can see white on black better than black on white. Here, here's the uh, black on white or here's sepia. So it's not quite so, uh, you can't really see that, but on my screen um, it's kind of a tan color which uh, makes it a little less bright on the eyes. Um, the jigsaw puzzle, you can see that that's our, our um, perk and you you can either show the operation or not, and then highlight the, the operands. So that's what's highlighted in the blue. So if you turn that off, it's not highlighted. So a little scaffolding, show the current op operation, that gets rid of this down here. And this one, um, show the jigsaw puzzle, we wouldn't see the jigsaw puzzle. So let's just go ahead and do another one. So it's saying zero plus four plus two, is, um, I'm going to say 7, and it doesn't put the 7 up there um, because it's wrong. So now I, I try another one, I say 6, and it puts it up there. One of the things that, what is that on my page? Hmm. 
I'm just going to have to keep going here because I can't seem to get rid of that. There it is. Okay. Um, so a, another thing on settings was you could have the animation slow or fast. And that's how quickly this number comes from down here on up to here. So we'll make it slow and see what we get. So we've got um, 1 plus 6 plus 5 is 12. So we'll, we'll choose 12. And it's a slow, it slowly goes up there. It moves it over. So now we've got one plus four is five. So this is with the slow animation. And then one plus eight plus six is 15. So I'm gonna just get hit the 15 down here and we get our total. And then we get another puzzle piece. So this is pretty much it. Um, that was column addition. It, it's pretty simple. One of the things that um, you can't do is insert your own numbers as, as the instructor, uh, but it's, it's some nice, simple practice. And um, the, each of these apps is $3.99. There are bundles that are $19.99, and it uh, ends up being a discount of 25 to 50% if you do the, the bundles. So we're gonna go out of here, and we're gonna try partial sums. And so this is, it, it's doing left to right instead of right to left with, um, with addition. So 9 plus 2 is 11. So I'm going to do 110. And then 0 plus 8 is 8. And then I've got to add those up, up together. So 110 plus 8 is, if I put it as 108, it just doesn't do anything. Um, I've got to choose the, the correct answer, and it puts it up there. So again, this one with our settings, we can do um, two or three numbers. We can do two or three digits. So that's as, as complicated as this one gets. And again, we can do the black on, on white or white on black, um, white, or, and believe me, this is kind of a tan color. It's not showing up as tan. And then animations, we can change those to slow or fast. I mean, I kind of liked them about where they were. And then showing the order of ap operations, that would be this thing down at the bottom that can either come up, be shown or not, and then highlighting operands or not. So a couple of nice, nice, um, but so let's do um, three numbers. Let's do a really complicated one here. Three numbers and three digits. So we've got two plus nine plus seven, or oh, I must have turned that part off. So all I get right now is um, the, the highlighting. I don't get the thing down at the bottom because I turned it off. So 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 7 is 18, so it's 1,800. And then I've got a 1, and that's in the tens place, so that's a 10. And then I've got a 9. And then I've got to add it all up together, and it's 18, 19, 18, 19. And it shows it to me up here as well. So that's um, as complicated as that one gets. So these are, what's nice is they're all really similar. Um, so if you had a student that was using a series of these apps, they could, um, they, they could do these pretty easily. So again, you've got your, your things down at the bottom, and I've got this set. So again, if with our, our settings, this should be looking somewhat familiar. So we can have two or three numbers. Um, we can have one digit, two, three, four, or five digits. So let's just do a three digit number or four digit number. Um, and we'll do it with this black um, background. You've, there's the automatic renaming. Let's see if what that does. I'm not seeing what that does, but we, we do the rename. So 8 plus 4 is, or 8 minus 4, we're, we're 
subtracting this time is 4 and then 7 minus 8. What if we renamed that? We can select them. I don't know why you'd rename those, but um, we'll go back to settings. I guess I'm not a math instructor. Um, you can show the jigsaw puzzle, show the current operation, or highlight the app operands just like we did last last time. Um, we're not going to do that. Won't let me out of here. So we're going to go out and then come back in. Let's get a new one. Okay. So 7 minus 6 is 1. Um, 3 minus 2 is 1. Um, 4 minus 8 is... Wow, that's a tough one. 6... And I think we have to borrow. There we go. Now it's six. And then it's one. So let's do another one of those. Oh, and we get a, color, a puzzle piece. So let's get a new number. Seven minus four is three. Seven minus eight. I want to put a, uh, maybe I want to put a one in there. That doesn't work. It doesn't go up in there. That tells me that it's wrong. So I need to borrow. So I'm just going to rename borrow up to the 2. So now I've got 17 minus 8 is 9. And now I've got 2 minus 4. I want to rename that to 12. So that's 8. And then a 2. And I get another puzzle piece. I think it's going to be a bird. Okay. So, um, again, we looked at the settings. They're pretty similar to what you saw before. They've been um, nicely consistent. So the last one we're going to look at is rounding. And um, you'd have to have, this, this one looks a little bit different than any of the other ones. Um, it's got the settings up in the corner. And it can tell you how many digits you're going to be rounding. And again, that theme of black on white or white on black or sepia. We'll do the black on white. And the animation's slow or fast. So this one just doesn't have as many. So round 75 to the nearest multiple of 10. And it says, please select the digit to the tens position. So tens, we need to put it, this is the ones position, we need to put it over to the tens position. So I'm going to choose this arrow and say OK. And then it, this is the rule. Is five less than five? No. So I say no. That means that I add one to it. And so then it's 80. So we get a new one up here in the corner, a new question up in the corner. We're going to um, round it to the nearest multiple of 10. So this is the ones. Here's the tens. So we've got to select it to the tens position. We need to go to the left. Let's go over two and see what it gives us. And we say OK. And it says move the selector before tapping OK. So that's giving me a cue that that's not right. So we're going to tap our, our arrow to the right again and say OK. And then again, we've got that 5. Is 5 less than 5? We say no. And so that means we're going to have to add. And so we've got 28,320. Uh, 28,000. 28, Let's see, 300. 28,230. Let's see what we get there. It just sits there. It doesn't do anything because that's wrong. But 2,800, 320 is correct. And then it'll put it up there. So another new one.
um, and these are in the tens. So if we go over here to the settings, I think we can say um, whole number rounding, use thousand separator. That's another thing we could put the comma in. And then um, let's do five, five di digits or four digits. And we're going to say OK there. Now it's asking us to do this to the nearest 100. Um, and so we've got to move our, our arrow over to the 100s, say OK. It's 2 less than 5. Yes, it is. So that's our answer. So we didn't have to add the 10 to it. OK, let's do another one. Um, these are um, to the nearest 10. So we move over, say OK. 5 is less than 5, no. Then we add 10. And we've got 8,010. So again, pretty simple apps. But um, I, was, I was impressed that for somebody that is having a hard time writing, this might be a nice, simple way for them to practice some of their addition and subtraction. Um, also for people that are having a hard time knowing um, should we be, w which part of the, the problem should we be looking at first, depending on whether you're doing partial sums or column addition or column subtraction, um, this could be a, a nice tool for um, $4, $3.99 each or $19.99 for a bundle, and um, it, that's a 25 to 50% discount if you get the, the bundles. So there's a whole bunch of them, 26 of, of these apps out there. So um, that's it for today. Um, some math apps for you. I hope this was fun, and I would really love to hear from you and know what apps are your favorites. I'm going to start. Um, something I'm calling Appy Hour. Um, I think it's the fourth Thursday of the month, starting this month. So I hope that you'll join me for Appy Hour. I'm going to be on Zoom for Appy Hour. And I'm hoping that people will, will share their favorite apps um, remotely or in person. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of a fun way to learn about a lot of new apps that people are actually using in practice. So um, again, my name is Patty Barr. This is my contact information. This is my email. This is my phone number. This is iCater's website. And that's our Facebook page. This webinar will be um, will be Um, archived once it's captioned and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.